if you're deaf and you want to make films, the one thing you need is a brilliant idea. I know, but it seems to happen every single Wednesday. Right. Give me money now. Listen, can I call you back later? 300 filmmakers and moviegoers have gathered in Wolverhampton at the Deaf Fest. This Deaf Film Festival showcases some of the world's best, who sadly struggle to achieve mainstream exposure for their work. So where else can you show your work? The Deaf Film Festivals. You can show Deaf pride, and I think that's a good starting point. You learn, we can all learn from each other how to make better films and work harder. What are you doing, you deaf? Give me your stuff. I don't have time for this. I've got childcare problems and I'm late for a meeting. Please, just, just, just give me your stuff. How about we do this tomorrow at three? Okay. Great. Oh, a thought for tomorrow's agenda. Maybe bring a knife? The barriers that I come across are getting into mainstream films. That's the big barrier. The producers seem to be really scared. It's understandable. It's normal to be scared of the unknown. They don't know about deaf people. That's a natural reaction. You know, I don't blame them for that, but it's really gutting that they've created the barrier. You need to play dead. Uh, an ambulance, call an ambulance. The, the guy in the suit, I think he's dead. Dead? How? Well, uh, he wouldn't say, he stopped breathing. We should try mouth to mouth. Resuscitation, I'm a first aider, won't he? You mustn't go down there. It's quite, quite gruesome. No sight for a lady. to wait here till the ambulance came. Wait? I thought he was dead. You take the toilet. He can't have gone far. My biggest aim, of course, is that one day your friends or anyone will go along to the cinema. You'll buy some popcorn. You'll buy a drink and you'll be sitting in a cinema watching my films up on the silver screen. That's my biggest aim. Before I die, hopefully. It's been a while, Terry. Too long. You for the pain. Look, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. No. I always think that the work that you do should speak for itself. It doesn't matter whether you're a deaf director or a hearing director. What's important is that your films are good. Louis Neithling's film Horatio breaks down those barriers, accessible to both hearing and deaf audiences, and quite a different style for this award-winning director. It's just a beautiful piece of film.